Hey, what up guys? It's Nicholas. So the last video you just saw uh, it was an example or actually like a demo of the butterfly character that I've released today. Um, this is obviously for Golem, uh, crowd simulation software or plugin, sorry, for Maya. Um, and I'm just going to walk you through the steps of how to get it. I've made it available on my website, so actually in the description below you'll be able to see a link there and it should take you here. Um, right now it's kind of weird, it says like A to Z and nothing, but I have plans on hopefully expanding this and just releasing more for you guys to mess with. This butterfly character was modeled and created by me, the textures was by me, and uh, rigging and animation as well. Um, so you can use this commercially or however you want to use it, uh, I'll, I'll let you guys decide. Um, but I will give you nine rendering types, so nine different butterflies, uh, five motions like flying, walking, few idle animations. Um, but I did specifically make this for Arnold, so hopefully you guys um, are also using that. If not, I can show you quickly um, in this video how to kind of recreate your materials and relink them. And they are physics ready, so they have the rag ragdolls for them. So uh, this button will just get you to this video, but um, go ahead and download this. Um, it's only 7 megabytes, so it shouldn't be big. It's really because of the um, textures that's in there. Uh, also, I didn't create an installation file because that's kind of shady and it, you know, it could look like a virus or something like that. So I just kept it in a zip and uh, you have folders in there for, um, for the ones that will go into your library. So here they are. This looks very familiar, I'm sure, to you guys. Um, where I have it natively linked to would be in uh, C, uh, Golem, um, Characters. When you install the Character Pack, it puts you here, but what I like to do is after I've installed them, I bring them over to Characters and I re-link them, as you can see here. All the GCHA files um, are pointing to the FBXs that are going to be in this folder. And anyways, the GCHAs are in here. Motions uh, don't need to be linked. Um, shaders and uh, source image source image textures will be linked to here. Okay. Anyways, let's go into the characters. You'll find um, the FBX and the GCHA in there. So I'll just drag this in here. Um, I'm just gonna like put a prefix of NX on all of my characters just so I can know which ones are mine, uh, which ones I'm working on. I just didn't want to call it butterfly and then you know get it mixed into all of this. Um, motions. Uh, there's going to be a folder here for Butterfly NX. Just throw that in there. You'll find your flying idols and walking in there. Shaders, um, it's only for Arnold. Uh, I don't have plans on uh, making other ones, but I'll just walk you through quickly how you can change that if you're using V-Ray or Mensa Ray or something. Source images, drag that baby in there. Awesome. Um, okay, that's it basically. So we're ready to go. Uh, let's launch Maya and let's just go through everything really quickly. Uh, the first thing we need to do is load Golem. Awesome. Oh no, I'm expiring in three days. All right, bring the character file, uh, character maker in. And if you go to open, um, Actually, I'm just going to copy this. So C Golem Characters, this is basically where all my characters are going to be. If you go into Characters, you can find the Butterfly NX in here. Um, go into Geometry and just make sure that nothing is red in here. If something is red like this one, it just needs to uh, relink the FBX to the proper place. Um, and that FBX is obviously in the same uh, folder as the characters, which is here. Cool. I've set the uh, the bounding box, I think. I'm not sure what you call this, but uh, to a very high number because I realize these characters are very small and they fly really fast. So if you want a motion blur, they're going to step outside of that uh, box in between frames and it's just going to give you some errors in Arnold. Um, so I'm not going to go through anything in here. That's fine. But I also want to show you the shaders. So um, in characters, shaders, just open up the Butterfly NX Arnold. Um, in the Hypershade, uh, you'll have a look at the materials that I have put in here. Let's just open up one of them. And this is the black material. Um, and in the black material, you'll have the black alpha. So this is, <laughs> that's my cat again. <laughs> hey, what's up? This is the alpha uh, for the wings and the body. Um, and then you have the beauty pass, the beauty texture. Cat, get out of here. Sorry, the beauty uh, texture. 
And then in between the beauty texture and the material, you'll have the HSL shader and a Arnold uh, user data float. So if you're gonna be switching to V-Ray, this material, this is your main material, and this is shading group. So this main material, you're gonna be switching out to um, you know, V-Ray material or an MIX mental ray material. Uh, and then just make sure that, I mean, this can stay where it is. And just make sure this links into your color. Uh, alpha is obviously going to your opacity or matte or whatever. And then the user data float, uh, you'll actually have to pick one for, right now I'm using um, Arnold's. Uh, so it's a AI user data float, uh, but you will need w uh, whichever um, whichever render engine you're using to put in there, and just make sure that the very attri the attribute is going to be this one, butterfly nx vari variation hue, and then that plugs into the hue. Um, that's one of them. The second one is for the multicolor render type. Um, so this is just like your regular render type. They have variations in them, very small variations. So that's why this is plugged in here. Um, but this is the multicolor um, one. So you can see that this uh, user data float plugs into the HSL for the hue. Um, we also have the lightness from, I believe, the other user data float, just to give also those multicolors a little variation. And they plug into the color. So this will need to be changed as well. These two utility nodes um, are the only thing that needs to be changed, and obviously your materials have to be changed as well. So if you're saving your files somewhere else uh, and not in um, C Golem characters, then you'll need to also um, change this path as well uh, for all of these. And of course, that FBX that I showed you earlier in the Golem character file needs to be relinked as well. Cool. but. The easiest thing to do is just save it where I saved it, uh, and you should be fine. <laughs> you should be fine. Uh, everything should work from there. Cool. So let me just show you quickly. Let's throw. Let's throw. <clears throat> cool. So let me just throw it in a scene real quick and show you. Um, cool. So let me just throw you in a scene and. Cool, so let's just throw it in a scene now, and let's make sure it works and how the rendering looks. Cool, so let's throw it in a scene and do a test render to make sure everything works. Um, I have one, I have a scene actually set up here already, um, but you can just use a blank scene. But this one has some lights in it, sky dome and an area light. Um, you can see here, and just like a background or something. Cool. So I'll go to my camera, um, and what I'm going to do is just start off with uh, Golem. Obviously, start with the entity. Character file will be the butterfly NX. Um, I don't like this display of the color, so I'm just going to bring that down. Uh, render previs, um, that's not on yet, so we'll just put two-sided because the wings do have one sides. One side? Did I say one side? I'm really bad with plurals. Um, okay, cool. So in the render attributes, you have all of these butterflies. You have a brown, a monarch, orange, black, red spotted, red tipped, white, zebra, and your multicolor. Um, let's go with the monarch because I like that one. Uh, black's cool too. Actually, let's keep both of these. And now we just populate. Um, so what we'll do is just draw one of these. Okay, that didn't really work for me, so I'll just have to move this over a bit. Maybe this way, and this way. Cool. And we'll need a few more, just so it looks cooler. Um, these guys are, are fairly big. I, I did create them in like a actual character size of a human, so you're gonna need to make them really small if you're gonna be using them in a real world scale. So something like that is fine, and Maybe we'll just add a few more, maybe like that. Cool. Um, new, new, create. So you'll have them in there automatically. I think I'm just going to bring this down a little bit. Looks like I said, they are quite large. And we'll hit play. Yeah, look how huge they are. So we'll go even, even smaller. Cool. I think that's about right. Let's go 0 0.8 and 0 0.1. Oh, did I? Sorry, 0 0.01. Wait, are you serious? No, 0 0.08 and 0 0.1. Okay, we're in business. So um, I'm going to populate them with some orientation uh, noise. 
Oh, what am I doing there? Orientation noise. <laughs> and uh, sorry, it's like super early right now for me. It's seven in the morning, but I had to get this video out. Cool, so there they are. Um, I don't want them overlapping, so I'm just gonna give them some, some distance maybe. Bring the noise down, replace. Hopefully this will fix it a little bit. A little bit, but not really. Um, yeah, that's fine. Cool, so that's in there. Um, what I'll also do is kick in the shaders. So yes please, um, character shaders. I get to the Gollum Arnold. Here it is in the scene, um, and here it is as well. So I'm just gonna take the joints and drop them under. Cool. Um, and then finally, what I'll do is just reload these textures. And there they are. Sorry. Beautiful, so we have the black one and the monarch one as well. Um, one thing to keep in mind is that this is definitely um, run through uh, alpha. I just thought that it would actually help a lot when I create different butterflies that I have different style wings versus modeling different style wings or just modeling one standard wing and then texturing it. It's kind of lame. So in this case, we will have a bunch of different um, shapes and sizes. So uh, let's throw in one of the animations. Why not? So... Motion, characters, motion, uh, butterfly and X. We'll just do like an, a walking. <laughs> you know, I really like the walking one. It's like he's carrying a gigantic house on his back, even though they're wings and he's not a snail. Um, but I just thought it was kind of funny. Give it some speed. Um, you can't flip them. It's not like a biped or anything. We'll just keep it on loop and let's hit play. So look at these little bugs. Watch this guy, uh, let's watch this monarch go at it. He's just like, oh my god, this, this thing, this book on my back is freaking heavy. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, alright, cool. So let's get back to business. Uh, where is this camera coming from? I have no idea. Do I have duplicate cameras? Yeah, I do. Why? Delete that. Alright, cool. So <laughs> we have these... I'm sorry, I'm gonna laugh through this whole video, I love it. Um, we have these butterflies now walking, and let's just kick off a render, and I wanna show you something that's very important for you to know because it is taking the alpha in. Um, so basically, we'll create a simulation exporter, and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put it in one of my old projects here. Uh, I threw it in cache, actually. I always put it in my projects, cache, and I have a golem folder for my cache. And we'll make a new folder. We'll call it butt for butterfly, zero, 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 uh, for zero spots, zero shots, and uh, temp, why not? Cool, save it in there, save it in there. Now this is, you don't have to do, this is just for um, kicking off a render so that we can have a look. Look at these guys, they're amazing. <laughs> have a look at, at them. Um, so here, I just put the cache in, so there they are. Do, 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 do. So like right there is fine, and um, we'll create the render proxy now. Yes, I love seeing green, it's the best. Cool, render, snapshot, camera one, and let's kick off an IPR. <laughs> so here they are. As you can see, they, we have some problems. These black boxes are not doing it. Um, it's not gonna work. So. Uh, all you have to do, it's very easy, and Gollum made it very simple for us. Go into your crowd proxy for the Arnold. I'm not sure what, what's going to happen for V-Ray and whatnot, but at least for Arnold, uh, go into the shape, render stats, and inside here, we're going to go ahead and hit off for opaque. Um, let's refresh this IPR. There you go. These guys are doing good. Um, another thing is the motion blur. If you, if you need motion blur and the flapping of the wings, uh, we're gonna need to uh, turn that on. Um, so that just turns on when you have the motion blur flapped and if you want, have camera, and of course moving as well. But if you have camera motion blur, uh, that all happens inside here. It's not important for you. Cool, um, one last thing. Obviously you can see some differences in the two butterflies, even though they're both the same monarch and even these ones have small differences. Hey cat, that's Mushkeys. 
Um, so if you want to push this a bit, all you have to do is uh, go into your hypershade or in that shader file uh, so that you can do it for all of the things. But at least for this scene, uh, just go into your user data. Um, oh, sorry, what am I doing? No, not there. Go into your golem character file. Bring in the butterfly NX character. And all of this changes that you, that you make here actually happens uh, in between uh, rendering and loading. So you can, after you cache this, you can actually change this around and it will update it here. So if I go and check out my, sorry, check out my Monarch, or actually they're all connected to it. So I'll just go to the black one, shading group, and here you are, here's the um, shader variation. So now it's only at negative 0.05 and 0.05. So if we go to negative one and one, um, resave this and refresh the IPR, we're gonna have like super duper colorful butterflies. Cool, I think that's basically it. Um, my cat's bugging me for some food, so I've gotta get out of here. Uh, I do have plans on creating more characters, so keep a lookout for that. And thanks for a few of you that have already subscribed to this channel. I think I will be creating more tutorials as well. So yeah, I think that's that it. Oh yeah, I can't believe you guys didn't notice that I use Internet Explorer. Shame.